Hello, in today's Minimal Godot tutorial, I'm uh, going to briefly try to explain quickly what an instance is. So far, we've created a number of scenes in our Godot throughout these tutorials, each one having a different sprite doing different things. But you can instance those. So basically, a scene, you could create a player or an enemy or a weapon, and then you can take that and import it into other scenes as an instance. So let's go ahead and create a new 2D scene. I'm just going to call this main as it, though it's our main game. And what I'm going to do is, instead of adding a sprite and adding a script to it and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead and grab our move key scene. So there we go, we have our move key scene. If I hit F6, I will save this scene and it will run. And you can see I can move that character around with my keys on the keyboard. I can also choose him and hit Control D to duplicate him. And now, if I hit F6, I have two of them. I didn't have to recreate everything all over again. I can also drag in um, our move scene here, which is our character that moves on his own. If I hit F6, he's going to start moving. But I can still control those two other characters. So instances allow you to do that. But why would you want to do that rather than just dragging in a sprite and adding a script to it? Well, your player might have multiple parts to it, so you want them all grouped together. But let's go ahead and take, for example, our move key scene. Or actually, let's take our, our move scene here. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose our sprite here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a new sprite. If I hit Control S to save this, if I go back to our main scene, you can see it changed it there. And if I had multiple copies of them, they would have all changed. I can hit F6 now, and you can see that spaceship moving. I go, oh, I don't like uh, the angle he's moving at. I can uh, rotate him like this now. And uh, maybe I want him bigger. I can say four times the size. If I save that, and now I run this, you can see that it changed it there. Uh, so I can go into the different scenes and change them, and I can have the player or enemy or weapon in multiple levels on my game, in multiple scenes, and if I change the original, the instances of all of them will change as well, and I don't have to go through and change each one in each scene. We're going to look at a little bit more at instances with exporting variables in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Again, that's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Have a great day.